Let's look at the advantages of using layer groups with Kali. The idea of layer groups is purely to group a couple of layers together for easy and fast switching between different layers. The way to go about it is under the applications we click on scope and under commands we click on layer display. The dialog box appears and I see a list of all the layers available in this drawing. If I click on them individually, nothing graphically is actually happening on the drawing. Still I go and update layers dynamically and switch it on. After switching this on and I go and click on those layers, you'll see graphically what is sitting on each of those layers. Let's scroll down and have a look on these layers, what is there. Also a nice function to remember is that when you click on them, you can use your arrow keys on the keyboard to scroll up and down. Nice function also, if you right click in the area here, a dialog box appears and here you can select to view your layers in specific order. In this case, you can have it sort by creation, sort by name or sort by index. I've got mine set to index because I want to see them numerically from 0 to the highest one. Let's go and group some of these layers together. If I click on the first one, press the control key and then I select the layers, layers I want to see. If I click too many or I want to switch one off again, I just click on it again and it will deselect it. Another method is by clicking it, use the shift key and use the arrow keys. The other one is just by clicking and dragging it down. Let's switch this layer off and I'm going to create a group called structure. At the bottom there's a function that says create. If I click on create, it comes up with a list of layers and a name that says group zero. I want to give a better description for zero so I double click on group zero. At the bottom it pops in there and I can double click or click and drag you change the name and let's type in the structure. Here is my layer group called structure and the layer contents thereof. Let's create one that says all. So I'm going to click and drag from the top to the bottom, select the layers I want to see, click on create, comes up with group one, let's change the name to all. If I select structure, those are the layers that are in that group and graphically it shows me what I can see. Let's switch one off again and now I want to update, you'll see graphically it has disappeared. Click on update, it says are you sure you want to update this layer group or structure. You'll see the list, it has disappeared there, it has been deleted. Let's update and save our changes, say yes and there we go. Let's go back to layer display, select all, all the layers available is selected now. Here's a quicker method also of doing it, let's switch our layer status back to structure. And only those layers are displayed. If I click on all the layers, it is also displayed to me.